glory, glory, my brothers and sisters. I thank God because of uh, this program of Minds of Truth uh, brought to you by Pacific Waves TV USA. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless all of us in Jesus' name. Uh, I want to take some moments to pray and uh, after I pray then we continue with a pro with a with a message that God is going to give us today because throughout this week it is that we are celebrating a life of Christ and there is resurrection uh, power we are, we are we are also celebrating a moment where Christ came and the reason and the purpose why Christ came on earth uh, this was the reason to die on the cross for us and uh, for our sins so that he can deliver us from every oppression and every judgment uh, uh, in our lives that was upon our lives uh, through the powerful covenant of his cross uh, and his death and his resurrection and therefore uh, today we, we, we want to take a moment to share that and the Lord is going to bless. That's why I welcome you to this program of Minds of Truth. And God is faithful. God will bless you. And therefore, I want us to take a little moment to pray in Jesus' name. And so then I bring the word of God. Mighty everlasting Father, we thank you because of your word. And we thank you for every viewer, everywhere. Lord, dear Father, everyone that is watching me. Uh, uh, everywhere globally uh, we pray that God you will bless them and minister to their lives and minister to me uh, uh, through me Lord to me and also through me so that you may reach out to them Lord we give you praise and we give you honor we thank you for the revelation of your word and we thank you for the power of your word in Jesus mattress name everybody shout amen wherever you are amen and amen I want to take a moment to uh, share uh, uh, a little um, 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 a message entitled uh, 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 Plugging Your Life into the Resurrection Power of Our Lord Jesus Christ. And I uh, want to say, uh, I want to read a scripture in the book of uh, in the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 10. The Bible says that I may, I may know him. These are this, uh, the words of Paul. He says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings uh, being made conformable unto his death. What a powerful scripture. And then we can also read uh, uh, um, uh, John uh, chapter 11, the words of Christ to Mary and an encouragement, verse 25. The Bible says, Jesus said unto him, I am the resurrection and the life that uh, uh, he that believeth in me Though he was dead, yet shall be shall he uh, live. Yet, yet, though he was dead, uh, uh, yet uh, shall he live. A uh, very powerful scripture. And therefore, because I'm used to share this, so that I may reach out to some people who may not hear English, I want us to share in Swahili. I'll, 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 I'll try to mix the, the, the two languages and therefore uh, share power free and God is going to bless us. Uh, we are sharing about uh, uh, the resurrection power of, of our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, Paul speaks about this profound, uh, 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 you know, uh, subject of resurrection. Uh, kuna wakati ambapo alifika Paulo kule uh, uh, Korintho na kukawa katikati ya tabu ambazo zilikuwa kule Korintho uh, uh, kwa sababu Korintho uh, inatokana na neno linaloitwa Korintho Korintho ni neno ambalo limetokana na, na Greek uh, word ambayo inamaanisha uchafu na mji ule ulikuwa na mambo mengi ya uchafu kwa sababu ya hali ya zina na hali ya wabudu wa sanamu na pia katika katikati kati ya hali hiyo pia wale wana Korintho walikuwa ni watu ambao walikuwa ni wana filosofia watu waliotaka kujua mambo mapya kila jambo jipya lililotokea kwa hivyo siku moja 
baada ya muda Paulo aliingia na akaingia katika uh, kule hekaro wakati wa sabato na wakaanza watu hawa kwa sababu walikuwa wana filosofia watu ambao filosofia ambao ni filosofi philos ambao ni knowledge and then uh, 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 sofia ambayo inamaanisha ya kwamba uh, uh, kujua um, jambo jipya you know they, they, they want to know anything new na katika hiyo wakataka kuelewa uh, kuhusu habari nyingi mambo mambo ya ufufuo itakuwa namna gani kwa hiyo paulo alieleza mambo machache but when he came to the issue of resurrection they had a question and they asked him uh, about the, the, the issue of resurrection na wakaona ya kwamba hali hii imekuweko na kwa hivyo kamwambia mtu huyu ingawa hatutaki kusikia mambo mengi hatungetaka kuwa na hatungetaka kuchuku, ku, kupata jambo jipya wacha tumwachilia ende lakini aitwe kwa sababu nyingine alafu baadaye tumsikilize mtu huyu ili tuweze kuelewa zaidi na kwa hivyo ikafungua mlango uh, na akaeleza Paulo akawaambia kwamba nimeona katika mji huu nyinyi ni watu wa miungu uh, nyinyi ni watu ambao muna, ma, uh, ma, ma, muna, muna, wa, watu wa, 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 wa dini kweli kweli sababu nimeona nikipita hapa nikaona kuna miungu sijui ya nani kuna mungu wa nani kuna mungu wa wapi lakini pia mpaka mpaka kumkawa na na, na mahali pengine mmeandika mungu wa, 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 wa asiyejulikana na mimi nimekuja kuwaambia kuhusu mungu huyo na kwa hivyo Paulo anaeleza 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 kuhusu historia yake na vile ambavyo amekuja na vile ambavyo yeye alibadilika na mambo haya yote baadaye azungumza kuhusu habari a, 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 vile alivyo mtuma Kristo akafa na vile ambavyo pia kuna kutakuwa na na, na, na hukumu ya, ya akazungumza mambo mengi kuhusiana na na vitu ambavyo na maswali waliokuwa nayo mengi akazungumza kuhusu habari hizo na alipofika katika hali ya swali je habari za ufufuo itakuwa namna gani and Paul is trying to explain this uh, lakini katika hali ile kwa sababu ilitatiza watu jambo la ufufuo uh, wa Kristo jinsi ambavyo uh, Kristo alivyokufa na baadaye akafuka na vile itakavyofanyika kwa ajili ya ufufuo wa watakatifu yeye amefanyika ribuko what we call the first fruit ya wale ambao waliolala na baadaye wakafuka na anazungumza kuhusu hiyo lakini kwa sababu ya nguvu zile ambazo zilikuwa pale kwa sababu hakukusikika wanadamu mwingine ambaye alikufa na akafuka wakati huu na juma hili we are we, we, we are celebrating a great life we are celebrating the life of Christ where he lived on earth and then uh, 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 then he was crucified my man uh, 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 and then uh, after being crucified then after dying uh, uh, the bible says then he resurrected after three days now katika ile hiyo hiyo nguvu iliyo mfufua ndio paulo anayoizungumza kuihusu na analeta kitu ambacho kinaitwa siri ambayo imefichika ndani azungumza kuhusu siri iliyofichwa ndani ya hii na anasema ya kwamba ningehitaji kumjua yeye na nguvu zilizo mfufua kutoka kwa kaburi Uh, alafu alafu Paulo anasema maneno mengine kwa Wafilipi that I may know him and the power of resurrection and the fellowship of the suffering and that I'm being uh, made comfortable unto his death and uh, the, the fellowship the fellowship uh, are being made comfort, conformable uh, uh, unto his death sa kuna mambo mengine ya Paulo na naye maneno anasema katika Yohana ya kwamba Kristo akasema hivi wakati ambapo alikuwa nakojewa kule nyumbani anasema sasa hiyo uh, nguvu hiyo nguvu ya ufufuo ni yeye anasema anasema kwamba anasema kwa uh, kwa Lazaro ya kwamba uh, wakati Mariamu analia wanakuja na mwambia Bwana kama ungekuwa hapa ndugu yetu hange kufa naye akasema kwamba uh, Mariamu sikukwambia ya kwamba usiogope na usiwe na shaka kwa sababu sasa nimefika anasema Yesu akamjibu mimi ndiye huo ufufuo 
mimi ndiye ufufuo ya kwamba usiogope kwa sababu na nikakwambia ukiamini utaona nguvu uh, za Mungu anasema ya kwamba mimi ndiye ufufuo alafu anasema ya kwamba na yote anaye miamini hadi kama anakufa lakini atafufuliwa alafu anasema ya kwamba anasema ya kwamba though he will, he will, he will, he will uh, dead yet he shall live ataishi tena na hapo ndipo tulipo leo nimetaka kuleta neno kukueleza kwamba ufufuo huu unakaa namna gani alafu then we, cont- we, we, we pray number one, the resurrection power is the resurrection power ensures justification we are justified through the power of resurrection that is why the issue of the gospel that we preach it is unquestionable it cannot be questioned because we are justified that Christ rose again that one alone inafanya kwamba hata kama mtu alikuwa na mawazo ama na maswali mengi na elimu ambazo ziko ambazo ni nyingi kuna mafundisho mengi ya kila aina uh, wanatiolojia wanaweza kwa kusomesha kitu kinaitwa apologetics ama a uh, 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 world religion na, na, na hali zake na jinsi ambavyo wanateta wengi na nini na nini na wale walioanzisha dini hizi zote na katika hizo dini zote walianzisha hakuna yeyote ambaye alikufa na kafufuka na hiyo ndio inayotupatia why we are justified katika maisha yetu kuzungumza na kuamini kile ambacho tumeamini kwa nini kina utofauti na mtu mwingine yote na dini nyingine yoyote ni kwa sababu uh, uh, Christ ran, uh, died and rose again so the power of resurrection will always justify us to ya kwamba because of the resurrection uh, power it shows that uh, Jesus Christ defeated death kwamba Kristo ali 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 ali, ali, ali shinda ile uh, alishinda mauti namba 3 kwa sababu hiyo kwa sababu ya kufufuka kwake inatuunganisha sisi na Kristo inatuunganisha sisi na Kristo ndio Paulo anasema kwamba ni shiriki mateso yake na pia niweze kufanywa moja katika mauti yake ndio anasema kwamba wakati ambapo tunaamini nguvu za ufufuo katika maisha yetu that resurrection power unites us unites us with Christ three and the, and the other thing is that uh, the, the resurrection power uh, will confirm the truth of the scriptures inaweza kuweka wazi uh, nguvu za maandiko na pia kutia muhuri ukweli wa maandiko and that is why i have come to you to declare today in the name of jesus as i pray as i pray i am praying that God will drag you uh, 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 into the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ today and so that uh, 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 so that the resurrection power will start to flow in your system flowing in every area of your life so that anything that is dead anything that is not uh, alive anything the enemy has killed when the resurrection power uh, you know flows in you then it will touch every area of your life that is dead and then you can rise again in the mighty name of Jesus and anything the enemy has has killed it shall be restored that is why we call the, rest, the resurrection power is equal to restoration power is equal to restoration uh, 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 the fruitful of uh, or the results of restoration kwamba kile kitu ambacho kimeenda tena kinaweza kurudi tena kinaweza kufufuka kinaweza kupokea neema ambayo tunaita the resilience grace a uh, neema ya ku bounce back neema ya kurudi tena so the resurrection power proves that the gospel is true injili ni kweli Resurrection power proves that Jesus is the son of God nobody else went there such an experience the resurrection power means that the holy spirit is poured out into your heart and into our hearts of uh, 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 to those all of those who are who are believers ya kwamba roho mtakatifu amwagwa ndani yako anamwagwa ndani yako that's why we say out of your belly shall flow the rivers of life sabu roho mtakatifu anapata nafasi ya kuingia mahali 
uzima wa Kristo umepitia na kwa hivyo kwa sababu ya hiyo Roho Mtakatifu anakuwa proof ya kwamba ana nafasi ya kufanya kazi katika maisha yako the resurrection power gives believers a living hope inawapatia wale ambao ni waaminio tumaini la uzima tumaini la uzima maana hiyo nasema kwamba Kristo ndani yangu ndiye tumaini la uzima yeye ndiye tumaini la uzima ndugu Mungu akubariki kwa jina la Yesu Kristo unapoipokea tumaini hili katika maisha yako na ya Zakaria anasema ya kwamba sisi ni wafungwa wa matumaini when you lose hope in life then that is the end of you when you lose hope but when you have as long as you have hope even when things are you know turning haywire uh, wewe ni mfungo wa matumaini unajua ya kwamba bado mambo itakuwa sawa katika maisha yako may your life be plugged into the power of resurrection from now henceforth in Jesus matchless name raku sakata rekopanto labu shata in the mighty name of Jesus leo ni Oba ya kwamba maisha yako itawekwa kama stima pale ambapo tunaita mahali ambapo kuna kama kwa socket mama maisha yako itakuwa plugged to the resurrection power and that resurrection power flows in you na baadaye inaleta mwangaza katika maisha yako mahali ambapo kuna giza the resurrection power means that we shall be raised in as Jesus was raised from dead uh, 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 the resurrection power again uh, 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 resurrection power means that Christ will judge the world in righteousness Yesu atahukumu ulimwengu katika utakatifu na resurrection power kwa nini ana judge uh, 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 ulimwengu katika utakatifu kwa sababu aliyefufuliwa ni mtakatifu na kwa hivyo ana haki ana mamlaka ya kufanya hivyo katika usafi huo the resurrection power affirms all that Jesus says yani kile maneno yote ambayo Yesu aliyoyazungumza na nao zungumza uh, katika maandiko ya kwamba inapitiwa muhuri kwa sababu ya ufufuo wake inatoa muhuri the resurrection power affirm, confirms that who Jesus is the Jesus son of God yeye ndiye mokozi wetu yeye ndiye mwana wa Mungu yeye ndiye mkombozi yeye ndiye anayeweka watu huru Aa, na kwa hivyo yeye ndiye pekee aliye na utofauti na mwanadamu wengine yote aliyeishi katika ulimwengu the resurrection power vindicates Christ suffering the death now uh, 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 and death uh, you know uh, um, you know there is a, there's something that we need to understand here ya kwamba kristo kufa kwake na kufufuka inamu inamweka watu wengine walisema ya kwamba kuna wimbo tuliimbaga zamani ya kwamba walipo muua yesu walidhani wameshinda kumbe uh, badala yake Ah, tukapata wakovu lakini pia badala yake akapata akapata ufufuo hasa ufufuo ule ulifanya ya kwamba hata kama alipita katika ulimwengu na aka, na amesema na ame, ame, ma, ma, maneno alio yaliyozungumzwa na mitume na na, 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 na manabii zamani na pia maneno ambayo yeye alizungumza ya kwamba sasa haigetua shaka kwamba yale ambayo amezungumza ni kweli kwa wakati alipokufa kile ambacho kinamweka mtu kumvindicate katika hali ile accusation ile ambayo ilitokea wanadamu vile walivyozungumza wale kitendo ambacho kilifanywa na Wayahudi you know kile kitendo ambacho kilifanywa na Wayahudi kile ambacho kimevindicate uh, Kristo na kapatia mamlaka ni ufufuo wake na kwa hivyo unakuta ya kwamba leo mtu akiambiwa wewe ni mwizi alafu baadaye ashtakiwe kotini alafu baadaye kusiwe na chochote ambacho ama mtu yeyote anayeweza kutokea hata kama huyu mtu ameshtakiwa kwa uongo na ni kweli kabisa ni kusingiziwa amesingiziwa lakini hakuna kitu cha kumvindicate kwa maisha yake basi anabaki hivyo na kwa hivyo in this life in, this, in the life of Christ resurrection vindicated him ya kwamba yale aliyozungumza aliposema ni mwana wa Mungu he was vindicated Uh, katika hali ya ya, ya ufufuo wake alipo alipokuwa alipo ya kwamba amezungumza ya kwamba yeye ndiye ufufuo alikuwa ali vindicated 
katika hali yake ya kufa msalabani na kufufuka i pray that your life will be plugged into the resurrection power of our lord jesus christ and that anything that needs to be revived today anything that needs resurrection power in your bodies that is dead anything that is needed to in your entire life that is that is weak in any way or the enemy has killed may the resurrection power flow in your life may you be plugged in the resurrection power and your life may flow that life that life of Christ in you in Jesus mighty name the resurrection power conquers death for us the resurrection power manifests justice for us the resurrection power uh, frees us from our sins in a tweka huru kutoka kwa nguvu za dhambi the resurrection power defeats the enemy hiyo ndio inafanya kwamba shetani baada ya Yesu kufufuka hiyo iliweza uh, kuharibu kazi ya adui ili haribu kazi ilifanya hata nguvu uh, um, za kila aina za kukandamiza zinakosa nguvu Kristo ambaye ndiye mfufuo mpaka ana, ana akiapia hata mauti na wewe alishinda shetani alishinda mauti alishinda nguvu zake na Mungu ni mwaminifu may your life be plugged in resurrection power in Jesus much less name the resurrection power on us mankind in a, a unparalleled way yani nafanya kwamba mtu aheshimike katika ina mwanadamu ambaye hafai kuheshimika anaheshimika unajua ya kwamba kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo mwanadamu anapitia kwa maisha yake kama mambo ambayo unayapitia inafanya uonekane heshima hakuna kwa sababu ya vitu ambavyo vimekufuata vime, vime katika maisha yako kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo yamekushukuma lakini Mungu anapoachilia neema na nguvu za ufufuo na vitu hivyo vinafufuka tena mahali ambapo hukua na jina mahali ambapo hukua na heshima unapata heshima na aibu ina ondolewa leo ninatangaza ya kwamba kupitia kwa nguvu za msalaba kupitia kwa nguvu za ufufuo may you receive honor may you be um, may you receive respect in the mighty name of Jesus waliosema kama wakati wa Yesu ya kwamba ameisha na sasa mambo imeenda hivyo na wakafikiria imefanyika hivyo kwa sababu ya nguvu za ufufuo basi kila mwanadamu kila mtu aliyehusika katika kumuua wote wali nyamaza kwa sababu alipofufuka ilikuwa ni kitu kingine walijaribu kuweka walijaribu wale kuweka maaskari ya kwamba aweze kulindwa asije pengine aka maneno aliyoyazungumza yamefanyika isije ikawa wakaonekana wao ndio waliokuwa na fitina hawa masadukayo mafarisayo na wengine walimu wa 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 sheria na kwa hivyo kile ambacho kinaweza kuondoa mawazo ya wanadamu na pia kuondoa kuondoa uh, ile ambayo nasema ya kwamba kuhakisha uh, uh, kwamba umerudishiwa heshima uliyoipoteza ni ufufuo ni ufufuo katika maisha yako i pray today in the mighty name of jesus that god will revive your life again when i was uh, when i was down i with cancer and, and and then then later on i went to the hospital and then i uh, I, i was uh, like a uh, you know the, the doctor says that this this one is in stage 4 there is nothing we can do about it katika hiyo watu wengi waliona kweli hakuna matumaini na kwa hivyo wengi wakaanza kuniona kuanza kuhesabu siku na kila mtu akiwa anatazama na hata kuulizia na simu anaendelea je yuko je hayuko hivyo hivyo lakini katikati ya hali hiyo then Mungu akarudisha na hiyo ilileta heshima kwa Mungu uh, pekee ilimletea Mungu heshima sana na ikafanya kwamba kwa ushuhuda wetu shetani anashindwa maana nasema kwamba walimshinda kwa ushuhuda na wabini wa viao na pia kwa damu ya mwana kondoo let me mention few things and then we pray in the name of Jesus the resurrection God views a new way uh, uh, of being human ni njia nyingine ya kuwa mwanadamu resurrection power uh, demonstrate the uniqueness of christianity uh, the resurrection power is the basis for the kingdom 
building is the, the basis of the kingdom building ya kwamba hiyo ndio msingi wa injili tunayohubiri na ufalme tulio ndani yake na ujenzi wa ufalme huu the resurrection power defeats satan and uh, the devil who has the power of death but was defeated by Christ the death on the cross Shalanda raboka na kwa hivyo hauna shetani ana nafasi tena katika maisha yako the resurrection power is the foundation of the gospel without it there is no good news the resurrection power is the basis of our hope rekatusa the resurrection power is a, is a, is our glorious expectation uh, uh, and the power will come upon you in Jesus matchless name without the resurrection power our faith is actually nothing is nothing our faith in god is just but nothing but with the resurrection power basi imani yetu inakuwa thabiti to experience the power of resurrection is experience the power of victory wakati ambapo unapokea nguvu na una experience nguvu za ufufuo katika maisha yako una experience nguvu za ushindi katika jina la Yesu Kristo the experience of the power of the resurrection is the experience the power of hope katika maisha yako let me say something and then we pray number one, let me ask you well, there is a force on in the universe kuna ile nguvu katika ulimwengu wote ambao tunasema kwamba kuna nguvu za stima kuna nguvu zingine ambazo tunaita nguvu za nuclear a uh, a uh, uh, war um, 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 mnazia ambazo zinatumika katika vita na wanajeshi kuna nguvu zingine za maji kuna nguvu za upepo <laughs> kuna nguvu za kila aina kuna nguvu za waves hizi ambazo tunatumia na nguvu hizo Paulo akaangalia hizo nguvu zote akaona hakuna ingine hakuna nguvu angetamani kuijua eh, kwa sababu hiyo unaweza kwenda shule lakini nguvu zile ambazo hawezi kwenda shule nahitaji tukufunzwa na Mungu anasema and I, uh, uh, in the, 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 this is what the, well, he says this um, Uh, that uh, uh, the power uh, the, the power of the force of in the universe zote ni nguvu lakini kuna nguvu moja ambao haijulikani haitokani katika shule akasema ya kwamba that i may know him kwa sababu hii ni zaidi ya stima ya umeme hii ni zaidi ya nuclear rakusha kata hii ni zaidi ya upepo hii ni zaidi ni zaidi ya tornado hii ni zaidi ya chochote katika ulimwengu hii ni zaidi ya force ya maji hii ni zaidi asema kwamba nguvu za ufufuo natamani nijue nimjue uh, yeye na nguvu za ufufuo na nguvu za ufufuo that is power the resurrection power changes people from death to life inabadilisha watu kutoka kwa mauti na kumpeleka mtu katika uhai na resurrection power releases us from bondage and fear i pray today ah uh, anyone that is ordained ah uh, uh, to die this year i declare me the resurrection power hits your life may the resurrection power hit your address in the mighty name of jesus rakushata anything the enemy want to kill in your life i declare today may the resurrection power touch your life in the mighty name of jesus christ rakushata na magada may the resurrection power fall upon you today in jesus name in jesus mighty name it is uh, the resurrection power it is seal upon the documents of life in Jesus mighty name nataka nitaje mambo mawili then we pray number one is that there is an election power and that uh, raised the jairus a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, daughter uh, uh, in the bible ni situ kwa sababu ya yohadi ya, ya Lazaro lakini nguvu za ufufuo zilimuinua binti ya Jairus eh, ya Jairus katika Mathayo 9 mstari wa 18 um, 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 mpaka 25 is the, the power is the same power of resurrection that healed the lepers la kusa kata is the same power that healed me of cancer is the same power and i declare today may that power that creates may that power that energizes 
realizes, may that power that quicken, uh, uh, that, that, that quickens life, may that power quickens your deliverance, quickens your freedom, quickens your, your, your healing. In the name of Jesus, that power that make it alive and also kill it. Nikuku ambazo zinaua na badai pia zinawezo wakufufua. Kuna mtu mwingine ambaye katika dunia na uwa na anafua guvu za ufufua zinawezo wakuaribu ya, ku, ya wa, wa, wa kuangamiza guvu zote za giza na pia kufufua maisha yako na kufufua kichote ambacho adui ameua katika maisha yako kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. And therefore, I declare today in the mighty name of Jesus, don't live as a believer who has the weapon in your heart, in your life that God has deposited the resurrection power and everything is dying in your life today. Declare me the resurrection power. May, may I be plunged in the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I declare today, may anything the enemy has killed rise, uh, uh, rise, uh, um, um, uh, rise to life in Jesus' mighty name. May that, may that be resurrected again in Jesus' name. Is the resurrection power marked uh, uh, out Messiah as Christ of God? Is the resurrection power? I want us to pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus for this power that make it alive, for this power, you know, uh, that kill it uh, 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 without hands, but also make it life without hands. Is the, is the, 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 um, the power that make things to, con, uh, uh, to, co, to consist. Or make it, uh, uh, or, or, or there's a power that changes dry bones. Uh, 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 is a power that uh, uh, speaks creative words. It is a power that brings uh, uh, living words. It is a power about whom it is written through dead yet, though dead yet speaketh. Our Kasoka. It is the power that accumulates holy fire within your bones. It is the power that destroys stagnation through the elimination of decay. It is the power of uh, uh, to, to make rapture. It is the power uh, of the angels of life stirring up waters to your life. It is the power uh, that makes you to breathe life again. And therefore, the way to receive this power is the power that is the power to receive. Uh, you need to surrender fully to God this day. Upepeane katika maisha yako na chochote ambacho unajua ni week ama chochote ambacho umepoteza katika maisha yako. Keep plugged katika guvu za ufufuo and then repent every sin you know or every sin that is unknown in Jesus mighty name then control your tongue talk speak life in the name of Jesus wacha kuongea guvu za kushindwa ongea kushinda is the power that helps you even to die to self you need to die to self and receive the baptism of fire in your life and allow the love of Christ this in this season flow through you into others and have the violent faith in the mighty name of the, the faith that speaks for the positive and pray the living prayers. Katika jina wa Yesu Kristo, anza kutangaza ya kwamba hii itaishi, ya kwamba biashara yangu itaishi, maono yangu ita, ita, ita fufuka, anza kuangtangaza ndoto zangu zita fufuka kwa jina wa Yesu Kristo. I want us to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm a father in the mighty name of Jesus. By the reason that we have come in your presence, and Lord, dear Father, I have shared with your people, Lord, dear Father, about the resurrection power. I pray that every life here will be planned into the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. And I pray right now in Jesus' mighty name, anything that has died in the life of my brother, anything the enemy has killed in the life of my sister, be it business, be it anything, I declare clear today. May that the issue receive the resurrection power and be alive in Jesus' matchless name. I command that dream to be alive. I command that body to be alive. I command anything that God has not planted in your body to die from the root. Every cancer die from the root. Every disease die from the root. Every 
any diabetes, high blood pressure, die from the root. Any kind of a situation that is ungodly in your life, the enemy has planted, die from the root. In the name of Jesus, may the resurrection power hit your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' matchless name. Everybody shout amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord do you good. May you celebrate this season with a gladness and joy in Jesus' mighty name. Scriptures are a mystery that requires revelation and a true revelation. You cannot read scriptures as a novel or a newspaper. Scriptures testify about Christ, the Word, the vision, and the master plan of God. Pacific Waves Television presents Minds of Truth program, a program that looks forward to revealing the mysteries in the scriptures so that the wisdom of God can be known to people. For example, what is the mystery behind John chapter 1 verse 1 and 2, which reads, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. What do you understand about the covenant box? What do you know about the meaning of the gates of Jerusalem? The truth lies at Minds of Truth Show, hosted by anointed servants of God. Tune in to Pacific Waves Television. Stay tuned. You are watching Pacific Waves Television USA, a place of nourishment. Pacific Waves TV, when you get a meta, she had a raya. Pacific, she was a Pacific Waves Pacific Waves TV. Pacific Waves TV.